Hello, I'm Barkley Roper with Tiger Capital Management, a registered investment advisor here in the state of Idaho, bringing you your weekly trend update and helping you stay on the right side of the market. Today's quote comes from portfolio manager Jonathan Honig of Capitalist Pig Hedge Fund when he says, the perif peripheral, your attitude, wardrobe, education, and expertise mean nothing to the market. From old timer to first timer, it will chew up a doctorate just as easily as a drug addict. In the markets and indeed in life, success starts with realizing that one's opinion means nothing. The market will move as life will move, per perfectly unpredictable and with the best laid plans going horribly awry. We can't control the market just we, we can't control the market just as we can't control the future. So the winners are simply those best positioned to benefit from a future not yet seen. So the takeaway is that humility, preparation, and flexibility are important to incorporate into your investment philosophy. Humility keeps your ego in check. Um, your head doesn't get too big when you're right. And you're not too hard on yourself when you're wrong. Because you know that every investment won't be profitable. You just keep swinging the bat. Preparation allows you to plan ahead for possible good and bad outcomes. Preparation plants seeds of risk control throughout your investment strategy to protect capital during times of downside market volatility. Flexibility allows you to move from one asset to another as the opportunities present themselves. Knowing that certain assets will perform better than others during certain circumstances will allow you to let go and make the appropriate changes to your investment portfolio. So let's go ahead and look at our long-term trends for today, starting with U.S. stocks, represented by the S&P 500. All right, so here we have price is now above the 50-day moving average and also well above the 200-day moving average. So we're still in a confirmed uptrend with U.S. stocks. Foreign stocks. You can see that price also is still above the 50-day moving average and above the 200-day moving average, so we're still in a confirmed uptrend with foreign stocks. Real estate investment trust, we can see that uh, price is still above the 200-day moving average as of uh, last week, and uh, price is also above the 50-day moving average. We haven't had the 50-day um, moving averages creeping up but still hasn't crossed above the 200-day moving average. Um, and then we have this line of support that we've been using for the last, uh, last six months or so. Uh, price is still above that, so we're still in a confirmed uptrend with real estate investment trusts. Commodities, we can see that price has popped up above there, above the 200-day uh, moving average, and um, and is well above the 50-day moving average, but still, just as in real estate investment trust, the 50-day moving average is still below the 200-day moving average. And we can see that uh, there's these areas of uh, kind of resistance. We have a, uh, a high here and a lower high and a lower high and a lower high. We still haven't, uh, this price right here hasn't broken above this. And so we're still in a confirmed downtrend with commodities. Bonds, we can see that uh, price is, is just hovering right above the 200-day moving average. Uh, price is above the 50-day the moving average. But still, similar to those commodities, we have this uh, previous high. Um, price still has not broken above that. The 50-day moving average is still below the 200-day moving average. So we're still in a confirmed downtrend with bonds. Let's go ahead and look at that one more time. U.S. stocks are in a confirmed uptrend. Foreign stocks are in a confirmed uptrend. Real estate investment trusts are still in a confirmed uptrend. Commodities are in a confirmed downtrend. And bonds are in a confirmed downtrend. So that wraps it up for today. I'm Barkley Rope with Tiger Capital Management, bringing you your weekly trend update, helping you stay on the right side of the market. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to call or email me. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.